Young and the Restless revealed that Sharon lost her temper over the pictures Cameron sent over. Faith's life is in grave danger. That gets worrisome when Faith Newman doesn't text to confirm she's boarded her flight. Faith naively believed Cameron's words. She was eventually drugged and kidnapped by him. Sharon quickly reported to the police to quickly report to the police to save Faith's life. Cameron is a mad dog. He can do anything without thinking about the terrible consequences he can cause. After Sharon realizes Cameron must have kidnapped Faith, she panics and informs Nick Newman when he is released on bail. Chance will contact the airline and find out that Faith has never been on a plane, so Sharon will be even more scared. Faith's threat is getting more and more dangerous. What does Cameron want? Why does he use this hatred of Sharon to bring the children to bear the consequences? In the end, Nick will dig around until he discovers an eavesdropping device in Sharon's house, which makes sense given we know Cameron broke into the house. Cameron has been watching Sharon's house for a long time. He's risked all the dangers to get revenge on Sharon and Nick. He's eavesdropped on every activity in the cottage and was able to gain an advantage. Nick will determine that Cameron must know when and where to rob Faith by wiretapping. Sharon will receive a scary message from an anonymous number. It will contain a photo that proves that Cameron really has a creepy belief in captivity. Faith's threat is facing serious ones as Nick is unable to locate Cameron. Faith will be tied up and gagged in the photo, so Sharon will be brokenhearted when her daughter is dragged into danger. Sharon tries to contact Cameron to make a deal with Cameron, but it seems he wants nothing but revenge on her. Sharon finally wants to, but she'll do her best to get Faith out of this mess before she gets hurt badly or worse. Cameron will make a number of requests, starting with face-to-face -face meetings with Sharon at a location of his choice. Cameron will tell Sharon where she should go and will warn her to come alone if she wants to keep Faith safe. Sharon ventured into the desert alone to meet Cameron. Nick wouldn't think it was a good idea for Sharon to meet this monster alone, but Sharon would worry about Faith's fate if she dared to go against Cameron's wishes. At this point, Sharon really has no choice. Sharon will think she needs to follow Cameron's instructions exactly to ensure her safety, but Nick can mess things up if he secretly follows or convinces Sharon to choose an alternative plan. However, Cameron must also be on high alert for Sharon going to the police. Nick really will figure things out on his own at some point, so stay tuned for updates on the abduction and the match in progress. The YNR channel is the place for news and information, great updates on the young and the restless, so visit often.